Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of One Note Worthy Life, and today we're looking at the new updated OneNote for Android app. The changes are pretty significant, and I think you'll find at least one thing that you are excited about. So I noticed the change on my phone uh, somewhere around this past summer, but I didn't really explore it because I don't use OneNote on my phone that much. I tend to use um, OneNote mostly on my desktop, and then I just use the phone on the go. But somebody sent me a link to an article covering the update, which is linked in the description. Um, and once I read the article and I saw really what the changes were, I knew I had to share this. So I'm very excited about this. And the article is linked in the description if you want to read it. And if you are an Android user, I suggest you read it because there is probably some good information in there for you. In fact, let's look at my phone right now. So we are looking at my Android phone screen in real time right now. And the two big updates right now are the use of cards, which you can see on the screen. And the second is the addition of the quick capture bar, which you see at the bottom of the screen. It's down here. So prior to this update, the Android app looked a lot like OneNote looks on any other device. And this change here displaying the cards makes it look very different, but I think it's a really good change because each of these cards represents a recent note. And having all of my recent notes in one place is really helpful for me when I'm on the go because those are most likely the notes I'm going to want most often. Uh, one of the less visible changes is that with this update, the Android app displays notes from all of your signed in OneNote accounts. So if you had more than one, one OneNote account, all of those recent notes would be showing on this home screen. I only have a single one, but this could be useful for people that have, like, say, a work account, a personal account. Uh, and unless I mention otherwise, everything you're seeing is in real time. If something takes too long, I will edit it for uh, brevity, but I'll mention that. So as I mentioned, we are looking at the notes that I have opened recently for this video. And in, during this video, you might see notes and notebooks with the name demo, the word demo in the title. And that's because that's where I store all of the uh, notebooks that I use for demonstration for video purposes. So normally my home screen would have a lot more variety. So if you do see that, that's not a quirk of the app or anything. Those are just the notes I've had open. So as I mentioned, I really like that this home screen shows recent notes because those are for me, the ones that I'm most likely to need when I'm out and about and I want to access OneNote on my phone. You can still get to any uh, note or notebook that you have in your OneNote account, but the recent ones are right here on your home screen for you. You can interact with these cards uh, by using either a quick tap or a long hold. So let's look at both of those. So a quick tap gives you the option to edit a card. I'm going to use... So I'm going to use a quick tap on this note here that says Demo Notebook. And that was a quick tap. And so you can see that the note is now open and I can make edits. So I'm going to make an, uh, just a quick edit here. So once we go back to the home screen, you can see that the note I just modified, that's this one here, up in the upper left is now in the very first position, and that's because that's the most recently modified note. If it had not resorted, I would swipe down, which I'm going to do, and you can see it uh, kind of working a little bit. It will resort them automatically. Now for the long hold, uh, you'll see that it gives me a menu of options. So I'm going to use uh, this page called Shortcut, and we're going to do a long hold. So you can see it brings up these options. I can trash the note using the trash can. The middle icon gives me the option to move or create a copy of the note. So let's click that. So you can see you have a, um, if, you, if you ever move or copy pages, this should look pretty familiar. You, you, just, you can move that page or make a copy of it. So I'm going to cancel out of there. The right icon, the three dots, has uh, some very interesting options. So I'm going to go ahead and click these three dots here. You can share your page or add it to your home screen. 
And actually, I have a page set up to demonstrate the share. So I'm going to back out of this and we're go going to do that on that other page. So for this, I'm going to use this note in the upper left. I'm going to long hold it. I'm going to click the three buttons on the right. And I'm going to click share. So you get the option to um, share it as a PDF or plain text. So I'm going to do a PDF and then you'll see that you can uh, share it in any of the ways you would normally share something like text, email, etc. So I'm going to select PDF. So you can see that it is uh, now giving me these options for however I want to share it. Like if I were to select this messages, those are my text messages. I could select anyone on my text message uh, contacts. And then the uh, sharing it as a text works the same way. The other very interesting option is the option to make a shortcut. So for that, I'm going to use this page called Shortcut. I'm going to long hold it, and we bring up this menu again, and I'm going to click these three dots on the right. And I'm going to select Add to Home Screen. So then we get it. You have to confirm that, yes, I want to add it to my home screen. And now we have a shortcut added to the home screen. So I am going to navigate over to my home screen. And we can see it's right there. And this is actually my home screen. Uh, the home screen on this phone actually covers more than one screen. So if I were to scroll over, uh, I, could, I could put it on the one that first pops up. But this is my home screen. So I love this feature so much. If you have a page you're using a lot right now, you can add a uh, shortcut to it right on your home screen. So if you're car shopping, furniture shopping, or you're trying to collect information for any kind of a big project, you can have a shortcut to the page where you're adding that stuff right on your home screen. And what I did is I set up, I'm actually going to go to the home screen. And this is my actual, now we're looking at my home screen here. Um, I set up this page that you can see here called Collected Items. And this is a shortcut to a page for uh, just random items that I collected. And this has been really great because I use GTD or the Getting Things Done system. And a big part of the GTD system is collecting anything that captures your attention for any reason. And then you process that at a later point in time. For me, that's during my weekly review. So I just love having this page for just anything. I can put anything on there, and then part of my weekly review is to clear this page off. So that was actually something I had collected. I noticed that Wayfair had slat wall accessories. That's a kind of storage wall. So I am going to go back to the OneNote app, and I'm going to show you uh, the lid list versus grid view. So we have two different views we can look at on this home screen. Right now we're looking at the grid mode, which shows more cards on your screen, but you don't get a lot of detail. We can switch to list mode by using this button right here. And if you look at that, the appearance of that will change once I click it. So I'm going to click that button. And you can see we're in list mode now. And list mode shows you fewer cards, but you get more detail. And you can see that that toggle button has changed appearance. It looks like a grid now. So if I click it, we go back to the grid mode. So you can use whichever of those you like. You can flip back and forth. Um, I, I really like that they give you the option for that. So now let's look at some sort and filter options. These are located right here next to the toggle button for list and grid view. It's this button here that looks like two lines with dots in them. So the first thing is, is you can filter by what type of notes you want. Do you want all of your notes? Do you want just OneNote pages? Or do you want sticky notes? And we'll get into sticky notes. And then you can sort by modified date, created date, or alphabetical. Right now I have them sorted by modified date. And you can see the arrow is pointing downward so that my newest notes are on top. I could flip that and it would put the newest ones at the bottom. And I, I did test this before filming, and I have so many notes, I've been using OneNote a really long time, that every time I changed the sort, uh, it took like 20 or 30 seconds. So I'm not going to do that for this video. Just know that you could if you wanted to. And just to show you again how this um, 
sort works. I'm going to scroll all the way down. I have a, there we go, this blue sticky here. And I'm going to modify this. And now we're back on the home page. And just that quick, that note is now at the top because it's the most recently modified note. And again, if you, if it didn't resort for me, you can just swipe down and you can see that um, it's thinking a little bit because it would resort the notes for me. So that's it for the updated display. Let's look at the other big update, which is the quick capture bar. And that's right down here at the bottom of the page. So we have a few different options on this. And I really love that all of these options are captured in one place because as I mentioned, I don't do like a lot of heavy work in OneNote on my phone. I tend to just capture things. Um, so if I'm out at a store and I find something that might be interesting or I might want to take a picture of a restaurant to visit or whatever, but all the capture options are right here. So I think this is a great addition. And if you are a GTD person, um, having ways to capture things conveniently is really, really helpful. So we have the add page option here. That'll just add a page. And then we have four other options for quick capture. We can do an ink note, a um, scan or a photo, and then we can dictate. And then this one over here with the three dots will add a sticky note. So if you aren't familiar with the default section in OneNote, it's where things go that aren't placed specifically somewhere else. Um, so you, when you set up certain things, you can send them, send it to a place in OneNote. Like if you use the email to OneNote feature, you can have that designated to go to a certain section. Um, or if you print to OneNote, you can pick what section that goes in. The default section is where things go when you have, when you don't have another designated place where they go. And for most people, it's a section called Quick Notes in the first notebook that was created for them when they created their OneNote account. And for most people, that notebook is going to be called by their first name. So in my case, it's Michelle's notebook. Um, in that notebook, there is a section called Quick Notes, which is the default section. So all of the notes I take using this capture uh, bar is will go to that default section. So let's try creating a note with the handwriting. So the add page is obvious, is we just add a page, but uh, these other ones are new, so I'm going to uh, demo those. So let's do an ink note. Let's try this uh, purple ink. Now I'm going to exit out of here, and there's no title on that note. Um, one thing I have found is that I have to exit out to get the keyboard. Maybe there is a way to get the, the keyboard and I just don't know it, but um, I like to leave it without a title and then come back and add a title. And you can see as soon as it syncs up, yeah, there's, there's the title I call that ink. So let's do a scan now. I'm gonna click on this camera icon and I have a scan set up for us to use. Okay, so I am now trying to, there we go. Looks pretty good. Okay, so it got a good scan of what I was trying to scan. Um, I'm going to confirm it. And one of the updates is uh, with this scanning feature, you have uh, some of the options that you have with other photo apps. So you have filters, which you can use. Um, you can crop it, and then we have more, like you could rotate it, add ink or text, or if you have a multi-page scan, you can reorder it. So I'm not going to do any of those things, but just know that you could. I'm going to click Done, give it a title, and then I'm going to exit out of here. And you can see that it's already right at the top of my home screen, and that's in that default section. Now let's test the dictation. So right now I am talking into the microphone, recording for the video, and I am making a dictated note in the OneNote app. I'm going to give it a title. Another thing about the Dictation app is that you can use your words to format what you're typing, period. For example, comma, I can add a new line by simply saying the word new line. I can add an end to a sentence by saying the word period. 
So I'm going to shut that off and give it another. Di so this is my was the section second dictation test. I just wanted to show you those formatting uh, options where you can use your voice to format your notes. So if one of the things I love about this is you could be walking along and if you're dictating notes, you're brainstorming something or trying to you know write a draft of something using dictation, you can add you know like a period at the end of your sentence or a new line you know without even touching the phone, just using your voice. According to the article that's linked in the description, the dictation feature now supports nine languages with more in the works. So that's very exciting, and I really like that um, the OneNote team is trying to add even more languages. So now we're going to cover the final quick capture method, which is creating a sticky note, and that is found uh, right over here, these three dots. I'm going to click those, and we get the option to create a sticky note. I'm going to type some content on this. And there we go. It's already right at the top of my home screen. I'm going to go back into that sticky note we just created and just show you how to change the color. So this is the one we just created. I'm going to click the three dots at the upper right. And now we have some color options. So we can make this one, make this one a red one. So it's nice the way they stand out, like if you do any color coding or anything, um, you can use those colors. And uh, sticky notes are a Microsoft function and they show up here in the Android app. They also show up in Outlook and on the sticky note app on my desktop as well. So I like to think of sticky notes just the way I think of like real paper sticky notes. If OneNote is kind of like a three ring binder or a collection of three ring binders, then these sticky notes are kind of just like the paper equivalent of sticky notes. So overall, I'm really, really pleased uh, with the quick capture bar. I generally prefer to work on my full-size keyboard and desktop, but when I'm out and using OneNote on my phone, this works great. Um, so I really am, I think that's a great addition. It's also great if you do, uh, if you're a fan of GTD or getting things done. And then just some final points. Um, these features are being rolled out in stages, so if you don't see it yet, you might get it later. And as of the printing of the article, this was not available on tablets or dual screen phones, um, but that could change at any point, or maybe it already has. The other thing I want to point out is that this Android update does make the Android app look different than the way OneNote looks in on all my other devices, but I think it's fine. I had no problem getting around. I had no problem finding out how to use it. And I think we're all used to the idea that apps look different on a phone versus a tablet versus a full-size desktop. Uh, you know, people design the apps to function well on the device they're being used on. So I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think that, you know, they've done a really good job of optimizing OneNote to be used on a phone. I really like having my recent notes um, show up right up top, right current, right in front of my face, because again, those are going to be the ones that I'm probably using at the moment. But I can still get to anything that's in my account by clicking this Notebooks button. That's where I could go to other notes that aren't showing here. And I don't know how many, like you can see, however, what is this, seven notes or so on my home screen. You can scroll and scroll and scroll. I don't know how many, I don't know what the upper limit is, but there's a lot. Um, when I flipped the sorting on this, it took like a good 30 seconds or so. It looked like there was hundreds of cards showing. So um, yeah, there is there is more if you scroll down. And then if you want to get to notes that aren't showing, you always have the option of using this notebooks button to get to all of your other notebooks. So that's it for today. That is a review of the newly refreshed OneNote app for Android. If you liked today's video, please let YouTube know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content on OneNote, on getting things done, and on personal organization, I would love it if you subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye!